swole series. So what we're gonna be doing today, pretty much following me around all day, seeing what I eat to try to gain lean muscle. Breakfast, one of the most important meals of the day. It's almost freaking 10 o'clock, I don't wanna hear it. Anyhow, breakfast is pretty much the same things every day. I eat these coaches oats, so I'm gonna go get the bag for you guys. Look at this, that's my very cool Look, oh, it looks like a, it looks like just a normal cupboard. That way if robbers come in, I can hide in here and it's like, oh, there's nobody in there. It's, it's a cupboard of 60 grams dry, which is about 40 carbohydrates. Um, what you're gonna wanna do, if you're just starting off tra tracking macros, or Steve, what's a macro? Macros are protein, carbs, and fats. I would go back to my video, Abs Are Made in the Kitchen. Um, so I, I do my 60 grams of oats, which I've already cooked and I've already weighed out. I'm gonna live large today. 80 grams of berries on there. Little unicorn tear action, stevia drops. Stevia makes the world go round. Cinnamon is a must. There's a smidgen of almond milk and cashew milk. And I just do a quick little splash. Boom, that's it. So that's my oatmeal right there. And it's amazing, it's beautiful. Now I'll go show you how I do my eggs. I used to always use a spray, but I've gotten this habit. All I do is I take the butter and I just, one little layer of butter in a pan, I'd rather use butter than spray. I'm a bachelor now. I don't want to use extra dishes, so I'm using my shaker cup to measure out my eggs. And I'm gonna put 190 grams of egg whites. 20 grams of protein right there. Protein is one of our macronutrients, um, and then pour that in, and then I'm gonna add one whole egg, because my macros right now, 65 grams fat, 325 grams carbohydrates, 225 grams protein. Those are what I'm trying to hit for the day. So your body's gonna be burning calories, so you have your base metabolic rate, and then any activity you do, you do on top of it, the more muscle you have, the more you know, the more your base metabolic rate is gonna be higher. If I'm trying to gain a pound a week, I'm gonna need to have an extra 3,500 calories, which is an extra 500 calories a day than what I'm burning. And really, it's just trial and error. So that's why I'm kind of getting, you know, this baseline down. I'm hoping that I maybe just gain a half a pound and actually tighten up that I'm, now that I'm tracking macros this week. Um, but again, if you're looking to track macros for the first time, Download my fitness pal. Um, this is not a sponsored post for them. Everyone uses them. Get a food scale, read labels, and don't be OCD about, you know, like getting everything down to the ounce. And the more you track, the more you weigh things, the better at it you get at guesstimating it. What it does is it just keeps you in the game. It keeps you tracking. It makes you feel like you're on track. The minute I don't track something, it's easier for just all hell to break loose, the floodgates open, and and then I just eat whatever I want. Usually, if I eat whatever I want, I don't get enough protein, way too high of fat, and then carbohydrates, you know, it's hit and miss with those. I do about, because it's about 20% of my diet is fat, um, I don't do a lot higher than that, I just do better on more carbs. So it's also gonna depend on kind of what, what you like personally, and what your body does well on. Um, but th these are all stuff that we have for people in the Fitness Culture app. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat my oats, I'm gonna enjoy life, and then um, I'm also gonna add half a packet of holy guacamole, holy guacamole, to this on top, and then uh, I'm gonna eat this in peace. I'm gonna tell you what my macros were for my breakfast, and then I'm gonna go work out. This is how I spend my morning brainstorming. I get in that creative, creative mood. Uh, my breakfast, I'm gonna tell you guys my breakfast. It is 51 grams carbs, 38 grams protein, and 40 grams fat. So I'm a little bit low on the protein side because I only eat like four or five times a day. So if you do the math, I need to be up around like 50 grams of protein. Uh, carbs need to be up a little bit. So I'll have one more meal. It'll just consist of carbs and protein before I go work out. I bought this ping pong table after I came back from California. It's where my dining room table should be, but I don't have one yet. I'm gonna be practicing because I got my butt kicked by Brooks Light. We did that partner workout together. So I'm up in here just core scalping it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, that wasn't that great. I can swear I'm better. Alright, I'm over for two. I need to take this outside. We're just we, it's not regulation. You can't get, you know, back there before you get serious when you go outside with this thing.
You better recognize skill. You're gonna get worse. My table. You don't lose on your home court table. Isn't that right, Nate? Dude, <laughs> don't even right now. What happened there? That's right. That's my table, man. I don't lose. Let's go work out. Uh, oh. oh my gosh, I'm on video? <laughs> We're recording. We're recording. <laughs> How's the coffee? Is it good? When I go get coffee, it is here at Affogato. They have the most amazing protein coffees. It's a vegan protein coffee. Um, we're gonna go introduce you to Elise if she's here. And it's just a cool spot. They got ping pong here if you wanna get beat again. Good what? Can I get my usual? Chocolate protein. Do you do PB Fit or almond butter? PB Fit, we're trying to keep that fat low because it's pre-workout, trying to keep that fat content low. 16 ounce or 24 today? Let's go 24 ounce. Cool. And how much banana is it? Is it a full banana? Uh, it's like two thirds of a banana. Two thirds of a banana. Good. Okay. The track and macros today, that's why. And then how much uh, almond milk? No. Uh, Did you guesstimate a cup? Probably, Two cups? Probably about a cup. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do our best to track here. Roughly. This is such a good drink. If you guys are ever in St. George, come to Affogato, come say hi to Elise and the crew. You guys are the best. Look how fun this place is, too. It's just amazing. Look at it, it's so fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go do an arm workout here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm here to get some muscles. I'm here to pump up and get some muscles. I need to just start making that shake at home. If you guys know the a good espresso brand, let me know. So um, it was approximately 36 grams protein, 24 grams carbs, and two grams fat. So I always try to keep my fats under five grams pre-workout, meaning if I'm gonna work out within an hour, I like to have a shake, get some, some protein, some carbs in there. Um, gonna work out, and then I'm gonna have another shake. So I usually do two shakes, shakes a day, pre and post. Just make it easy, otherwise I'm not gonna get enough protein. Um, today, following the SWOL program, I'll put the workout actually on the screen. Um, and you guys can follow along with it if, if you want. So that best set, get 60 pounds on here. Switching off between a, a, a row and a lat pull down, hitting both back thickness, and then also that lat development, that lat lift width, especially lower. So this one's a great one for that. Reverse grip, so supine grip, lat pull down here. So you'll see right here, stretch. Always start with the stretch position. Engage the lats. Squeeze. This rowing movement we have here. Uh, neutral grip, incline supported bat wing row. So elbows stay close to your side. Retract the scapula first, and then you start. So I don't want you to see you starting from down here. Scapula, roll back to the head. Need a ton of weight on this one. Especially if you're just retracting, you can engage the lats, then row. Because it's our last row, we're supersetting it with the rope pullover. Biggest thing on here is you want to start from this nice stretch position. You see my hips go back and I'm like in a straight plane. My upper body's in a straight plane. Elbows between my ears or outside my ears. And then as I pull down, straight, it's just in a straight line and it's an arc. All lats. I don't want you bending your elbows at all. That's gonna be triceps. All lats come down. But again, start from that stretch position. Next time. Six total sets for biceps. I'm doing three here. Everything is slow and controlled. Just trying to squeeze. Really working on bicep peak here on this one. Elbows are behind my body. It's a, almost a variation of a drag curl. And that half, that second squeeze at the top. I'm working on details. My biceps are usually overpowering my chest and back, so only six total sets today. Really working on detail.
So usually post-workout, we just finished up chest, or chest, we just finished up back and biceps. I usually have a protein shake. I actually don't own any protein in my life right now. Probably the first time in 10 years that I have it. But no worries, we're going to Teriyaki Grill. Little uh, chicken and steak combo with some white rice and some veggies. It's pretty amazing. We have three ounces of steak, three ounces of chicken, a cup of veggies, and a cup of white rice. So. Um, teriyaki Grill does have the macros on these, so I'll be totally these up after I eat. I'm so hungry right now, I don't want to try to total my macros before I eat. How good does that look? That is 74 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and a whopping 68 grams of protein. Now that's actually pretty good macros there. I could have definitely eaten two of those. Uh, I still got a lot of macros to go, and it's already 515. I love these days. Although I'm, I usually run out of fats pretty soon, but it might even be a froyo kind of night if I have carbs left over. That's always a good thing. So maybe it's sad that I'm making a video about a full day of eating and I haven't really eaten at home at all, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So right now I'm in line. We just left Teriyaki Grill and I need something sweet. So I'm here at a place called Fizz, they specialize and just soda, only in Utah. I, I've shown this place before on my vlogs, but only in Utah are drive throughs where people come and get flavored sodas of all different kinds, shapes, and everything. It's a big thing here in Utah. I'm not proud to admit this either. This is my free, free one. So I've, I've gotten enough that I now have a free one, and you get a free cookie with it is the problem. So I'm really thinking I'm just gonna give the cookie to you. Not me. Come on, bro. Damn it, Nate, you're splitting the cookie. All right, fine. <laughs> what did you just ask me? I just asked you if you were Steve Ah, she wants to be on the vlog. What's your name? I'm Michaela Smith. Michaela, you're hooking us up with a cookie and a drink today, huh? Yeah, I am. Yo, shout out to Michaela. <laughs> Michaela's doing work. How old are you, Michaela? I'm 17. 17, so all you young guys out there, don't even think about it. Her dad doesn't let her date yet. Don't follow her. <laughs> we got the cookie, and we got the Diet Dr. Pepper. And it was free. Thank you, you're the best. Yeah. You're my favorite swig, swig worker now. See we'll see you guys. Damn it, bro. That's a pretty big, I mean, that cookie's the size of my palm for sure. Yeah! Mm. I just ruined my macros with this cookie for sure. You think sweet fizz chocolate chip cookies are my fitness ball? After that cookie, I didn't eat anything until right now. This is my problem. I don't eat enough, and when I do, it's the wrong macros. But I'm gonna finish the night with this, a little G2G bar. I'm gonna finish it with two of these rice. I guess they're uh, crunchy rice rolls. With like, They just taste kind of like, nice and sweet, so it's kind of like a dessert. And one roll of the rice is 11 carbs. And then I'm finishing with five ounces of chicken breast, 100 grams of egg whites, and one whole egg. Going to put up my macros for the day. I don't think I hit my macros, even with that cookie. Just in bed, literally in bed, doing some reading, and I tallied up my macros for the day. It's the first time I've actually counted macros, start to finish in a day in a long time. Protein was 204 out of 225. Carbs were 233 out of 335 and fat was 72 out of 65. So obviously if I hit those numbers, I'm a little bit under, a little bit too high in fat. That's what I do unless I'm really on top of it. I go over on fat and then usually under. Usually it's worse for the protein. I'm like 160 usually. So that's gonna be my goal for this week's starting of this program. Really trying to adhere to, to this and there's really no easy way about it. I'm going to have to start eating more meals at home, planning out meals. That's the only way to stay on top of your goals. So I'm gonna hit up my trifecta, trifecta meals to make sure I'm getting my macros and taking things with me. Doing it on your own isn't easy and I haven't done it in a while. So that's gonna be the big thing for me, especially when I travel. But this is fun to do. I'm glad you guys are, are watching it.